Max. Flounder wanted a greenback. How much do you eat this, Mike? How many dollars? Uh, no. Five bucks? No. Three bucks? No. Two? Mm. Sold at two. What is up, guys? Welcome to Fat Belly Fishing. So today, Michael and I are going to be out here doing a little mystery tackle box challenge. I am no way, shape, or form related to these people. We're just doing it for fun. He's going to pick a box. I'm going to pick a box. No idea what's in it, but we thought we'd challenge ourselves. So I'll show you a little bit what's in it. Before we get started, we're on our way to 3,000 subscribers. So what Michael and I decided to do was we were going to invite one of our 3,000 subscribers once we hit there, that mark. We're going to invite one of you guys out to come fish with us at one of our spots and just hang with us the whole day. Uh, just subscribe to the channel, stay active, and I'll pick one of you guys random. So one other thing Michael and I were thinking about doing that I talked to a couple of the subscribers that messaged me on Instagram where maybe we could just make one day out of like the next couple months where we all just meet up at one location and all fish together. Like go out to the Skyway, have like 10, 15, whoever wants to show up and have like a little mini tournament or just sit there and talk about how I can't catch fish, you know. <laughs> all right. <laughs> All right, Mike, I'm going to let you take first pick at what box you want and just point out which box you want. This one? That one. You yeah. pointed in the middle. <laughs> you want this uh, one? No, I, I put it All in right. the, All right. that one. All right, we're going to go over what Mike has in his box. I'm going to do this quick so we can get the fishing. So Carl's gives you a bunch of little pamphlets and how much things are. First thing we have, it's like a, almost like a see-through minnow-looking paddle tail. That's kind of cool. Good luck with that, Mike. Ooh, you can tie this onto your non-existent fly line. <laughs> You're gonna have a hard time beating me. Oh, these stickers are awesome. Oh, come on, man. Anyways, let's see what else we got here. We got a, oh, these paddle tails will probably work out there pretty good. Just throw them on a jig head. Old pinky, looks like a little barracuda, but just pink. I don't even know. Good luck with that, Mike. We got some hooks in here, some six sots to go with your little swim baits. Uh, uh, three swivels. What else we got? One other thing. Oh, you got underspins. Those are kind of cool. I wonder what weight oh, those are. Sweet. So that was Michael's box. I'm guessing he's going to use the three swivels and tie everything on at once just so he can try to beat me. But whatever. Here's my box. Let's see what we got here. We have a chase baits with an underspin that's pretty cool i've seen some pretty big redfish caught on that uh what else we got yozuri i think it's a like jerk bait i'll have to look at it yeah it has a lip on it a sabiki with little shrimp on it <laughs> I, don't need, I don't know how i'm gonna use that maybe i'll tie it to his fly line uh some hooks a silver spoon Cats in the cradle and the silver spoon taking Michael fishing. And then we got these, I think they're paddle tails. Oh, they got like squiggly tails. These are uh, big bites. I've never seen these ones. That's pretty cool. Is there anything else in here? Oh, I got to see what sticker I got here. If I can get it. What? Michael gets this cool fish and all I got was the catch one. Whatever. Still appreciate you, Catch Co. So as we're fishing, I'll show you what lures we're using and how we're using them if we're catching fish on them. If not, you probably will never see them again. <laughs> this is what Mike's gonna be throwing. It's uh, that one of those little minnow looking paddle tails with an underspin. So when it's going through the water, this is gonna be reflecting like a bait fish and he's gonna be either swimming it straight back or bouncing it in. Chick-fil-A, I'm loving it. I think that's McDonald's. <laughs> Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it. So I'm going to also start out with a soft plastic. I'm going to go with that green and pumpkin looking color. Electric chicken. Electric chicken is that what it was called? That's what I would call I'm going to put it on a one fourth ounce jig head like this. So all you're going to do, you can rig this weedless as well if you want to, but I know they like jig heads at this particular spot. You just run it up the back of it and boom. push it on there. It looks like that. Ow. Hook sharp. Looks just like this. Little curly tail action we got going on here. 
anybody wants to sponsor us, I can use some new flyers. Let me know. <laughs> I think Mike just asked for a sugar daddy. <laughs> All right, Mike's on. He's got that underspin on. Let's see what he's got. A grouper? How'd you catch a grouper? <laughs> he got a grouper. But the underspin. Yeah, I thought it was a little snapper too. A little gag. It's pretty cool. Barely hooked. Yeah. A little underspin. Well, that's one thing off your list there, buddy. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Little guy? Yep, little trout. Oh, I got that pointing at the sky. I'm sorry, guys. Little trout. One to one, Mike. One to one, buddy. Oh, that was just slapped me in the... Just slapped me in the face. There's that lure down in there. Way down under. Oh, curly tail in there. It's pretty cool. Popped right out. Beautiful little guy. Whew. Let him go. Bait numero dos is the uh, Yozuri. It's a floatable Yozuri. I don't ever fish baits like this, so this is a bait that's going to be challenging me. And then Michael's got a topwater on. This has a bill, so when you pull on it, it dives deeper. Michael's got a Yozuri topwater on. So you can either twitch them in or you can reel them straight, but if you reel them straight, they're gonna go dive deeper and probably drag across the bottom. So we'll give it a shot either way. So I have a fish on and Michael and I are tangled. He has a top water on, I'm throwing some sort of other thing. Uh, hold to the line while Michael does that so he doesn't get, oh, my fish came off, I think. I think my, yep, my fish came off. All right, let's try. Let's see. Pretty sure my fish is gone now. Nope, fish is still there. Let's see what it is. It's a trout. Big Ooh, trout. Nice. Oh, nice trout. <laughs> fish was still there, baby. <laughs> this is the Yozuri that came out of that box. He's hooked on the side of the face. It's a nice trout, though. Travel hook, travel hook, don't kill me, please. All right, let's all just be, that's a good trout. He's probably maybe 18 inches. A good, good trout. So the tangle leads to a trout. Woo. That's what I'm talking about, Michael. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mike's got the top water bite. Here we go. I literally just was telling you guys how the baits are used. And he hooks this nice trout. Nice trout, Mike. Nothing like a bunch of treble hooks flying through the air at you. Am I right, brother? <laughs> okay, so he was hooked in the mouth. What? He was hooked in the mouth, no longer hooked in the mouth. He was hooked in the mouth, but is not lo no longer hooked in the mouth. Mike, you know you're supposed to, whatever. It doesn't matter, you caught them, you know? That's, uh, that's the important part. <laughs> what the you world? You see where, I told, where the hooks came out of his mouth. Yeah. That's funny. He wanted to make sure he wasn't getting away. All right, bye-bye, Mr. Fishing. There's a ton of wind right here, so I hope you guys can hear me. But uh, so far, we're both two and two on our boxes, which is pretty exciting. My trout was just slightly bigger than his. And we got about, I think, two baits left to go each. I'm tying on a spoon right now. See if we can get these uh, fish to eat. All right, Mike's on with the paddle tail, so he's going up three and oh, in a late disqualification, he left. You know, you're supposed to catch him, Mike. Oh, wait. It's two to two. He's this confident he's gonna catch one on this cast. I'll keep the camera rolling for you. I ain't scared. You're gonna come in empty handed. I don't know about that one. You ready? All right, if anybody has to go to the bathroom or anything during this episode, now's a good time. You might be here a while. Do, 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 do. I wonder if that song's copyrighted. <laughs> so basically, Mike's just sitting here popping the lure on. The fish will fall it on the... Whoa! You almost just took my head off. <laughs> oh, what the heck? What is it? 
Oh, it's a flounder, bro. Dude, I thought I was losing flounder. <laughs> Epic flounder. This thing is chunky. That's chunky. We did think there was a flounder hitting because usually they'll miss a couple times. That is on the other paddle tail that came in your bag, right? Yeah, it's on the, like the claw. It's an epic flounder he just caught. Oh, oh, oh. Let's see what the flounder's eating here. He's eating some greenbacks. Flounder wanted a greenback. How much do you eat this, Mike? How many dollars? Uh, no. Five bucks? No. Three bucks? No. Two? Mm. Sold at two. Awesome flounder. In the mouth, look at that that lure. Once he gets it Just out. Don't munch my hand. Don't eat him. Here we go. Feel small. Oh, I'm twitching. Huh. A pinfish that probably could set a record. Look at this thing ate a spoon. How many of y'all catch a pinfish on a spoon before? I wanna hear in the comments. <laughs> what in the world? Look at that thing. He ate a spoon. <laughs> like a record pinfish. It's a big one. So I caught a fish on everything besides the chase bait. That chase bait basically runs like a rattle trap. It, uh, it's really heavy. It, my shoulder is killing me. So I'm switching back to the green and pink lure that I caught the first fish on. I'm going to bounce the bottom to see if we can find some flounder or something because uh, it's like throwing a bowling ball around throughout the day with that freaking bait. <laughs> Started off with the uh, soft plastic to kind of get the skunk off the board because all the other baits I do not feel comfortable throwing. And that's kind of the cool thing about these boxes is it challenges you to step outside your comfort zone. I would never throw a bait with a bill on it or or uh, that. What? Ounce and a half? Paddle tail. What? Or the ounce and a half paddle tail that we've been chucking. My my shoulder literally hurts from these baits being so heavy all day. <laughs> but that's something that's cool about this box. You don't know like what the fish are going to react to, and you might discover a new favorite bait. Did I find a new favorite bait today? Not really, but I don't ever throw curly tails for soft plastics that are green and uh orange or pink like that's not a color i would normally use and i never use curly tails so the fact that i caught fish on them is a cool ordeal spoon i couldn't believe how big that pinfish ate that spoon the spoon was like half the size of the pinfish that was pretty impressive to me but a spoon's another thing that i never pick up unless there's like mackerel in the area but you'll never see me throwing a spoon i know it was just a pinfish but something that challenged me in a different way and Michael, they gave him like a three inch pink plastic. <laughs> to throw. It was like this big. How big? It was like this big. That big. Like this big, like an inch, ounce and a half. Like three inch. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, as always, tight lines and a margarita good time. And if you guys want to come fish with us, remember to subscribe and leave a comment. Just be active on the channel. We'll pick one of you guys at random. Every thousand subscribers, we'll take somebody new.